consumers are looking for greener choices in the marketplace. So it's not surprising that advertisers often focus on the environmental benefits of their products. It's important for advertisers to remember that green claims, like any other objective claim, have to be backed up with sound science. Hi, I'm Laura Koss, an attorney with the Federal Trade Commission, the nation's consumer protection agency. If your company is involved in environmental marketing, you need to know about the FTC's green guides. The guides have been around for years and offer advice on how consumers are likely to interpret phrases you see in green ads, for example, terms like recyclable. After getting comments from consumers and businesses, the FTC revised the green guides to address changes in the marketplace and offer more guidance for companies. Here's a headline. Basic truth and advertising principles still apply, and businesses need reliable evidence to back up environmental promises. You'll want to read the guides for the details, but let me highlight developments in four areas. General environmental benefit claims, certifications and seals of approval, terms that are new to the green guides, and terms that were already in the guides, but that the FTC has clarified or explained. First, General environmental benefit claims like green or eco-friendly. As a rule, marketers shouldn't make broad, unqualified claims like that because they're difficult, maybe even impossible to prove. But those terms could be okay if you're careful to explain what aspects of your product you're referring to and how they're better for the environment. If you make that kind of narrower, more specific claim, what the FTC calls a qualified claim, disclose the details clearly and prominently. Fine print footnotes and buried hyperlinks won't do the trick. Make sure your qualified claim isn't implying a significant environmental benefit if the upside is actually pretty negligible. Second, certifications and seals of approval. There's a reason why you see these in environmental ads. Most consumers aren't in a position to evaluate the evidence behind green claims, so they may rely on the opinion of a perceived expert. But using a seal or certification doesn't change your legal obligation to prove your underlying claims. You still need sound science to back up your promises. And you'll want to steer clear of seals and certifications that suggest general environmental benefit claims that can't be proven. Here's another important point. Seals and certifications are covered by the FTC's endorsement guides. According to the endorsement guides, advertisers have to tell consumers about any material connection they have to the group offering the certification. What's a material connection? It's a connection between the certifier and the advertiser that could affect the credibility people give the endorsement. Third, terms that are new to the green guides, for example, made with renewable materials. Consumers aren't likely to be as familiar with new terms as you are, and they could misinterpret a claim like that in a way you didn't intend. For example, that your product is biodegradable or made with recycled materials. One way to minimize that risk is to clearly identify the material you're talking about and tell why it's renewable. What if only part of your product is made with renewable materials? Qualify your claim so you're not implying the whole thing is made with renewable materials. The same holds true for claims like made with renewable energy. One way to reduce the risk of deception is to be clear about what you mean. For example, that the product is manufactured using power derived from wind or solar energy. Don't make unqualified claims if any part of your product is made with energy derived from fossil fuels. The only exception is if you buy renewable energy certificates, RECs, to match your energy use. Fourth, new insights about phrases already in the guides. For example, if you say your product or packaging is degradable, you should have proof it will degrade completely within a year. You shouldn't make unqualified degradable claims for items headed to landfills, incinerators, or recycling centers, since those products won't degrade within a year. If you say your product or packaging is compostable, the guides explain that consumers would be reasonable in concluding they can compost it at home and that it should break down in about the same time as the materials it's composted with. If that's not the case, take care to qualify your claim. 
and if your products can be composted only in a large-scale composting facility that isn't available to most people where the product is sold, make sure your consumers understand your claim has limited applicability. What about recyclable claims? The guides caution marketers to qualify their claims if recycling facilities for that product aren't available to a substantial majority of people or communities where it's sold. How much is a substantial majority? In this context, at least 60%. As for non-toxic, it's likely consumers will interpret that to mean a product is non-toxic for humans and for the environment. If you make a non-toxic claim, you'll need to back it up with competent and reliable scientific evidence about humans and the environment, or qualify your claims accordingly. The revised guides offer additional advice on the use of the phrase free of. For example, it could be deceptive to say your product is free of a substance if it contains something else that poses a similar environmental risk. What if your product contains just a trace amount of a substance? You may be able to make a free of claim if you meet a three-part test. Your product contains no more of the substance than would be found in background levels. The amount in your product doesn't cause the harm that consumers typically associate with the substance. And you didn't intentionally add it to your product. Be careful not to imply that you've improved your product by removing something if it wasn't there in the first place. That's a fast recap. The Green Guides offer more details for advertisers, including examples on how to apply these principles in your own marketing. To read the guides and find out more about keeping your claims compliant, visit the Environmental Marketing section of the Business Center at business.ftc.gov.